I'm back again to make another video. Um, I'm, I need to get ready and um, I thought I would make a video to help me, to help motivate me. Um, so I have some new makeup to show and that might be interesting. Um, let's see, I'm going to start off with um, spraying my face with Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. It's like refreshing way to start. And then I got this Neutrogena Clear Face Oil-Free Sunscreen. Um, there's so many different sunscreens to choose from. It's hard to pick one, but this one says Breakout Free. And it's for the face, so I thought I would get it. I just got back from camping. I went to um, a woman's retreat and we stayed in cabins. And I think I got sunburned. <laughs> but I was trying to apply sunscreen, but um, I didn't really reapply as often as I probably should have. So. Um, next, I got a new foundation. This is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. 5% squalane and hyaluronic acid. So, I heard this was good. I think I was watching Sabrina's video on, um, like, the good makeup for, like, sweat-proof makeup. And she has oily skin, and um, she lives in a really hot state, and um, she really likes this foundation. So I thought I would try it out. I think it looks good on me. It's not totally full coverage. It just looks like your skin's just natural, you know? I get these little bumps on my skin sometimes, like it, like there's one right here, and I'm hoping it's just a pimple that will go away, but sometimes I get bumps and they don't go away. <laughs> I guess that's something that happens as you get older, because it never used to happen when I was younger. I would just get pimples and they would go away, you know? So I think I'm going to take a makeup wipe. This I got from my friend Pearl. She sent me a care package or like a, a present. Not a care package, but like just a present in the mail. And she gave me makeup and um, skin care things and hair things. Um, this is Epiel Vitamin C Makeup Remover. And I really like this. I mean, I like everything she got me, but... Been using this a lot. It's just really convenient to have a makeup wipe sometimes. Um, let's see, next I'm going to put on powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I don't know if this is very good for sweat proof makeup. <laughs> but I haven't done my hair yet. 
I was still in the process of getting ready. And then for, um, I skipped concealer, um, and I've been really loving this blush. I don't know if it's still available, but it's by Milani, and it's called Coral Cove. And I've had this blush for a while, and I just think it's a pretty color. And I put a little bit on my nose. I think I put some on my forehead and my chin too. And let's see what else. Um. For eyeshadow, before I put on eyeshadow, I like to put on the all-natural vegan eyeshadow primer. It's called Magic. And I just went to the website and bought it online. They have a store. But eye primers, like, sometimes don't work for me very well. So I put the primer on, blend it in, and then I use uh, powder to go over it. I think that helps it to stay. And then this is the eyeshadow I've been using lately. It's the CoverGirl Clean. Clean color in shimmering beige. And I like to use the matte brown for in the crease. So like in the middle of my eye where it was like folds down over my lid. I've also put this as a wash just over the whole thing. The eyelid, you know, in the crease, but today I'm going to just focus on the crease in the middle. Like that. Lately I haven't been wanting to do anything that complicated. <laughs> I just want to do something simple. And like yesterday, I didn't wear makeup at all. I think I look better when I have makeup on. what that looks like. Probably need to blend it better. And then, um, all of these sh colors are shimmery. You know, this one, this one, and this one. Um, and they're all really pretty, so I don't know which one I'm going to use. I might use, let's see, what one should I use? There's like a pearl one, a kind of a gray one, and a gold one. 
I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't really see it. Oh. I think I'm going to use the, the Tilbush one. And what you do to make it more, to make the shadow stand out more, is take your eyeshadow brush and spray it with water or like a face spray. And it makes the eyeshadow much more pig much more pigmented and sparkly and like metallic looking. Do you see? I don't know if you can see it that well. And you can mix it too. You can put on the different. I'm putting on the gold and one over it. And then I got a new um first I'm gonna curl my eyelashes if I can find my thing And I got a new mascara. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch, Stretch and Strengthen Mascara in Waterproof kind. And um, I heard this was good. I think it was Sabrina who said that she liked this mascara. It's been a while since I've um, gotten a mascara that wasn't the L'Oreal um, what is it called again? L'Oreal, like Paradise or something. But I've been getting that one for a long time. So, I just wanted to try something new. But that looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. So the eye's done. And then for lipstick, um, I, I can't remember which video. It might have been Sabrina's video that she just did. Um, but somebody was doing a video and they liked the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the color Almond Nude. So I thought I would try that out, this one out. Because I have other ones, other ones like this, and I like it. I don't know where I'm buying this right now, but. They feel really good on the lips. That's pretty neutral color. Um, 
Um, I also got a lip liner that Lip Gloss Leslie likes to use. It's called, it's the Maybelline um, in Dusty Rose. I'm just gonna... Like outline my lips. So that's my finished look. I hope you like it and um, I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later.